Hey, it's Kevin Dewitt here. Welcome back to the Mixing in a Home Music Studio course. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is mixing. So firstly, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please click the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos. So what is mixing? All right, so this is a pretty generalized topic here, but you know, I thought, how can we start a course called Mixing at Home Music Studio if maybe you're so new to it, you don't even know what mixing is. So mixing to me is taking all of those elements that we created from our recording process, uh, all of our instruments, all our vocals, all those parts, and basically mixing, or let's just use some other words, blending them all together to make one coherent song where all of those parts work together and sound nice. Now, if you have already recorded your song and you just basically get all those tracks, put them into your mixing software, and just press play, you will probably most likely notice that it'll just sound like an absolute horrid mess. You know, there's things way too loud, there's this, that, you know, all the instruments clash, everything just sounds like rubbish, right? So it doesn't sound like a song. So that to me is what mixing is, right? We need to take all those elements, we need to adjust all the volumes, the EQs, the sounds, you know, put effects on, all that sort of stuff. So at the end of the day, there's a song. Right? It sounds good, uh, people want to listen to it, it tells a story, whatever you're trying to get out of that song, you know, and that's going to depend on what style you do and what song it is and all that sort of stuff. But the concept of it is, is to, to make sure that every single one of those parts works. And it's not just a matter of getting them all to, to basically fit together so it sounds like a song. You also want to think of it as that each one of those parts that you recorded or, you know, if you were a group or something like that, each person in that group's instrument shines through, has a part. Um, you know, I'd heard a long time ago, somebody described it as, um, especially when you're talking about a group or something like that, as if, you know, this group was performing or, you know, they were playing this song to all of their family members at the one time, that each family member of a person in that group wants to hear that person's part. They want it to shine through, they want to hear it. So, you know, if you're a parent of the bass player, you want to hear the bass. You want to go, oh, geez, I'm so proud of you. I can hear it. It sounds great. You know, your part sounds great. If all of that was, you know, hidden away or something like that, then, you know, you're going to have a disappointed family member because they're going to go, oh, but we, were you not playing on that song? I can't hear any of it. You know, so you want to try and get those elements there, but then you don't also want it to stand out. Like, it just sounds silly because it's just like, oh, I can't hear anything else because all I hear is the bass, right? So it's all about that, uh, doing that sort of stuff and also adding some interest, some excitement, you know, some effects and just, you know, again, as I said, um, depending on the song, it may be to tell the story. Right now, even if it's an instrumental, there's obviously a feel to it. There's a story to it. Now, it may not be in words, but it's still in a musical context. There's a story, and you want to sell that. You want to, you want to get that vision across. Now, mixing can be uh, totally changing what you've recorded. It can be if that's the way you want to go. But generally, if you are mixing for another artist or a band. What you want to do as a mix engineer is you don't want to be too in, you know, you don't want to be too obvious, right? So it doesn't want to stand out as, oh, geez, that mix engineer changed their song entirely, unless they ask for it. What you want to do is basically take their recordings, their concepts, what they had visioned for the song, and make it shine, right? So basically what they should do is walk in, listen to the song and go, yeah, that's what we wanted, that's what we recorded, and that's what we wanted it to sound like. That should be the end game. Now, sometimes that could be, if, especially if it's your own music, to totally change it because you may not be happy with what you recorded. It could be that you know your vision changes part way through because what you started off having an idea sort of morphed into something else. So mixing can be any of those sort of items, but it's taking all that raw recordings and making them 
sound like something, like a song in the end that people can actually sit down and listen to. Now I also like to say to people that even though there is uh, technically a mastering process after mixing, I always like to think of uh, my mixes as being ready to release to the public. So if for some reason I didn't have time to do the mastering, I couldn't afford to get somebody to master my song or whatever, I want my song to sound so good at the end of the mix that I could release it and not be embarrassed. I can be totally happy with it. That's the way I see it because to me mastering, and we're not going to go too much into mastering here, but just so you understand, to me mastering is just putting that last bit of polish on the end of your mix. But your mix, you know, you shouldn't be relying on the master to make your, your song sound good, right? So that's my vision. When I sit down to do a mix, I want that song to sound so good, I would be happy to release it without doing any mastering and it's just ready to go. That's what we want at the end of our mixing session. Now, I know that's a very high level sort of concept of mixing and, you know, there's many ideas you could go into, <laughs> whatever else mixing is and all that sort of stuff. But hopefully that gives you a good idea anyway that, you know, it is just a process to get a song at the end of it. That's basically the fundamental thing. Take all these individual instruments and vocals and make a song. So, you know, hopefully my explanation is good enough there, but you know, it is a very hard thing to sort of explain. Um, but I'm hoping that you probably know what mixing is anyway, if you're already in this course, or you have a general idea what it is, but I thought I'd just cover that off so that it was pretty clear. So again, at any stage in the course, or you know, even right now, if you have any questions or comments, put them below in the comments. Uh, I do read all the comments and um, I'll answer every comment that I can uh, as soon as I possibly can. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, um, it's pretty high level, we'll get more into more interesting stuff later, but um, I thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next part of the course.